a secret on earth is an open scandal in heaven what you seek we don't know your wife doesn't know my husband will never hear this one i will deny it to the last my friend what you cover up here a secret on earth is an open scandal in heaven and you hide anything that will not be revealed for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed neither hidden that shall not be known Oh yes, it will be known. You'll be caught and you'll be condemned. Your sin may be like the sin of Cain. It may be done in secret. God will call you to record. Your sin may be like the sin of Esau. It may be done under the impulse of the moment. I, I want it now. I need it now. I must have it now. How about your birthright? What, what will the birthright do me? Let me sell it to you and give me the pottage. Your sin may be committed under the impulse of the moment. You will be found out. Your sin may be like the sin of Joseph's brethren. It may take years before its discovery, but you will be found out eventually your sin may be this like the sin of Achan well covered all but a day is coming when you'll be caught condemned and exposed your sin may be like the sin of something done reluctantly won't you tell me the secret of your power and strength and then you are dodging and dodging and eventually reluctantly uh, i i don't want to do this i don't want to say this i don't want to commit the sin but see the pressure is too much on me you'll pay for it you'll be discovered all the grace all the strength all all the power, all the spiritual dynamite in you, everything will leak away and everybody will know. The whole nation of Israel knew. He did it reluctantly. And the Philistines, they all knew. He did it reluctantly. Your sin may be like the sin of something done, committed reluctantly. But you'll be discovered. It may be like the sin of Ahab, prompt, prompted by your wife. The pressure of your wife. Somebody you love. You cannot say no to that person. That person said, do it this way. But this sin is a sin. But this sin is not right. He's taking the life of the innocent. And what will it profit me if I gain the whole world and I lose my soul? The wife said, I told you, do it. <laughs> you may do it. And it's prompted by the influence and the pressure of somebody you cannot say no to. But you'll be discovered. Elijah came to him and he have said, Have you discovered me, my enemy? You will be discovered. Your sin may be like the sin of Belshazzar. Under the influence of a strong dream, all the same, you'll be weighed and found wanting and your life and kingdom will be taken away from you. Your sin may be like the sin of Herod. It may be the result of a foolish promise. Ask me whatever you want to ask to the half of my kingdom. And then the girl said, give me here in a platter the head of John the Baptist. He didn't want to do that. He felt sorry and sorrowful. He was sad about it. But because he made a promise, what am I going to do now? Because of that foolish promise, he committed the sin. It was found out eventually. It got into the book of records of God. Your sin may be like that sin because you made a foolish promise to somebody. We're together. We're united. I will never deny you what I've said. I have said, although this is against the promise I made to the Lord, I said I will not sin, but see me now. I promised you already. All right, I'll go for it. I'll do it. Your sin will find you out your sin may be like the sin of Judas Iscariot having the approval of the authorities I don't care what authority you have for committing sin it may be the authority of your nation it may be the authority of your boss in the place of work it may be the authority of the leaders of the church you attend it may be the authority of the people around you whatever the authority your sin may be like the sin of Judas Iscariot under the authority of the government of the day but your sin will find you out 
your sin may be like the sin of Pilate. It may be done not for any personal sin, but to satisfy and gratify the public. That's what they want. I told them we're not going to do it. Bring me a bowl of water. I'm not involved in this. I will not contribute to this. I wash my hand. Can you wash your heart? I wash my hand. Can you wash your conscience? Your sin may be like the sin of Pilate. Done to satisfy the public. But your sin will find you out. Are there people here that are telling the Lord, I'm a big sinner. Compare me with Judas. We're friends. We're neighbors. Compare me with Pilate. We're friends. We're neighbors. Compare me with those prostitutes. We're friends. We're neighbors. Are there people saying, if God can only have mercy upon me today, if God can only forgive my sins today, just this once, if grace can point to my life, just this once, if the love of heaven, the love from Calvary, the blood of Jesus can come over my soul, come over my heart, come within me, purge me and purify me within and without. If Jesus the Savior, the Redeemer, if he'll come again into my heart, so that in my heart, in my mind, in my thought, in my will, in my emotion, in my action, all that is within me, if the hue soap of heaven, if the blood of Christ, the one that is from Calvary, if it will come in today, wash me, cleanse me, change me, transform me, Lord, by your grace, I'm promising you, I will never do it again. Are there people that want the mercy of God? They grace of God, the righteousness of God, then he will say to you neither do I condemn you but now go, but he'll, he'll give you power, he'll give you authority, that sin that sin will see you and even run away from you, that sin you will see sin and run away from the sin, that sin that will be planted within you, you live like Enoch, you will live like Elijah you live like Daniel, you live like Samuel and then the very nature of Christ will be implanted in you, you see adultery you look away you see bribery and corruption, you look away. You see the things you used to do before, you look away. Your companions in sin before, that you used to attract you to sin, you will see them, you will look away. You'll say, I am free. How many people want to be free? Why don't you rise up? Why don't you rise up? Because the Lord is here today. If you are serious about it, if you are sincere about it, if you want this saving grace to come into your life, if you want the power, the power of Christ to come into you now for the Lord to speak unto you neither do I condemn you go and sin no more open your mouth and pray